Anyone has the need to hide their adultery, but Grace Kelly is an exception. Although she certainly looks shiny on the outside and knows how to carry herself in high society, Grace Kelly has disappointed her fans many times with her brazen infidelity. She didn't stop there. She also openly admitted that she could sleep with any man in Hollywood, which almost caused her to be kicked out of the entertainment industry. If you are curious about the men who have slept with this beautiful female star, don't miss this video. Grace Patricia Kelly, often hailed as the aristocratic blonde beauty and the uncrowned princess of Hollywood, was born on the 12th of November, 1929, in Philadelphia. Her life story unfolded like a fairy tale, where reality surpassed every male fantasy imaginable during the 1950s, capturing the hearts of audiences worldwide. Grace Kelly's allure wasn't just about her stunning looks. It was a combination of her elegance, poise, and a sense of regal refinement that made her stand out in the golden age of Hollywood. With her sophisticated, ultra-British mannerisms, Grace seemed like Hollywood's best attempt at creating cinematic royalty. She carried herself with an air of grace and dignity that looked untouchable and stratospherically above reproach. Her statuesque beauty was further accentuated by her flowing blonde hair, flawless complexion, and, most notably, her magnificent arctic blue-gray eyes. Those eyes held a captivating enigma, suggesting a depth and intensity beneath the seemingly cool exterior. They spoke of fire beneath the ice. Despite her relatively short career in Hollywood, appearing in only 11 feature films between 1951 and 1956, Grace Kelly left an indelible mark. Her performances in iconic films like To Catch a Thief, where she starred alongside Cary Grant, High Society, a musical comedy opposite Bing Crosby and Frank Sinatra, Mogambo, which earned her an Academy Award nomination, Dial M for Murder, directed by the legendary Alfred Hitchcock and her Oscar-winning role in The Country Girl, showcased her versatility and undeniable talent. Grace Kelly's on-screen presence was magnetic, drawing audiences into her world with every role she portrayed. Her ability to convey emotions, whether it be intrigue, passion, or vulnerability, made her an exceptional actress. Her style, both on and off the screen, was an inspiration to many, and she set fashion trends with her timeless and elegant wardrobe. Beyond her acting prowess, Grace Kelly had no shortage of admirers, both in the entertainment industry and among the public. Her beauty and charm made her a beloved figure, and her real-life romances often made headlines. Perhaps the most famous of these was her fairy tale marriage to Prince Rainier III of Monaco in 1956, which marked the pinnacle of her life's dramatic narrative. Grace's transition from Hollywood royalty to actual European royalty solidified her status as a true princess. Sadly, her career in Hollywood was cut short by her marriage to Prince Rainier, as she chose to focus on her royal duties and family life in Monaco. However, her legacy remains one of the most enduring of all old Hollywood actresses. Grace Kelly meticulously crafted her image as a paragon of classic, white-gloved perfection in the public eye. Her iconic beauty, aristocratic style, and cool elegance contributed to the perception of her as a chaste and untouchable young actress, often dubbed the Ice Queen. Her grace, poise, and refined manners projected an image of unapproachable purity. But behind the facade of a Hollywood princess lay a woman with a passionate and restless heart. One aspect of Grace Kelly's life that often remains in the shadows is her romantic side, characterized by an insatiable appetite for love and a desire to prove her femininity. Despite being an instantly recognizable movie star, she yearned for love and companionship in her private life. It's a facet of her personality that defied the carefully crafted image of the Ice Queen. Throughout her life, Grace embarked on a quest to capture men's hearts and find the love she longed for. Her romantic pursuits were marked by ambition and, at times, a hint of rebellion against societal expectations. She was willing to take risks in the pursuit of love, even if it meant defying the conventions of her time. 
It's important to note that this passionate aspect of her personality, while fascinating, also had its downsides. Grace Kelly's intense desires and romantic entanglements occasionally put her Hollywood career in jeopardy. Her insatiable libido led to romantic liaisons and entanglements that occasionally made headlines, casting a shadow on her pristine public image. The tension between her public persona as the Ice Queen and her private quest for love adds depth to the enigma that is Grace Kelly. Her legacy, as enduring as it may be, becomes even more captivating when viewed through the lens of her inner struggles and desires. The contrast between the image she projected and the passionate woman she was beneath the surface makes her a truly compelling and multidimensional figure in the annals of Hollywood history. The poignant truth about Grace Kelly's life, as revealed through her biographies, paints a picture of a woman who, despite her dignified exterior, grappled with profound loneliness. Her enduring solitude may seem surprising for someone of her stature and beauty, but it becomes evident that her own complex personality and perhaps her exceptional acting skills played a role in this isolation. While Grace Kelly's public image projected an image of perfection, her private life was marked by a search for genuine love. Grace Kelly's loneliness, though seemingly paradoxical for a Hollywood icon, could be attributed to the carefully constructed persona she portrayed. It's possible that she excelled so brilliantly at playing the roles of virtuous, chaste, and untouchable women on screen that she struggled to connect with others on a deeper, more authentic level. Her ability to embody these roles with such convincing charm may have led her to question whether she could ever experience the love that matched her idealized on-screen romances. However, Beneath this facade, Grace Kelly's personal life was far from dull or lacking in passion. She is known to have led a steamy love life, filled with shocking scandals that, in any other circumstance, might have led to public condemnation. Her behavior often mirrored that of a sex-starved, reckless young woman engaging in affairs with many of her co-stars, most of whom were married and considerably older than she was. What makes Grace Kelly's story all the more intriguing is how her scandals and romantic escapades were largely overlooked and forgiven by the public thanks to her newfound royal status. After marrying Prince Rainier III of Monaco in a fairy tale wedding, she became Her Serene Highness Princess Grace of Monaco. This transformation from Hollywood starlet to actual European royalty seemed to grant her a level of immunity from the scrutiny and judgment that might have befallen others in similar circumstances. The revelations about Grace Kelly's personal life, as disclosed by her biographer James Spada in The Secret Lives of a Princess, provide an intriguing glimpse into the less publicized aspects of her early adulthood, these anecdotes paint a more colorful and daring picture of the young Grace, showcasing facets of her personality that diverged from her public image. One particularly noteworthy episode, as recounted by James Spada, involves Grace Kelly's loss of chastity at the age of 18. On this fateful day, Grace visited a close friend's house, only to find her friend absent. Instead, her friend's husband was at home, and by the end of that rainy afternoon, a youthful and adventurous Grace had embarked on a romantic liaison that altered the course of her life. This revelation challenges the perception of Grace as a reserved and demure young woman and adds a layer of complexity to her early experiences. Another intriguing glimpse into Grace Kelly's adventurous spirit was her fondness for dancing to Hawaiian music in the nude. This private and sensual indulgence offers a stark contrast to the public image of the poised and dignified actress. It reveals a more carefree and liberated side to her personality, one that was not bound by the constraints of societal expectations. Perhaps one of the most shocking revelations shared by James Spada is Grace's audacious performance at New York's Barbizon Hotel. During her stay there, 
she entertained her fellow young female residents by performing wildly appealing dances in the hallway while clad only in panties. This brazen display of exuberance and uninhibited behavior challenges the perception of Grace Kelly as the epitome of grace and decorum. It showcases her capacity for spontaneity and a willingness to defy convention when the occasion calls for it. During her time as a student at the American Academy of the Dramatic Arts in New York in the late 1940s, Grace Kelly's romantic escapades extended to her classmates and even included at least one faculty member. This period in her life was a pivotal one, as she sought to distance herself from the rigid constraints of her family and embrace a more independent and adventurous lifestyle. These liaisons hinted at her growing desire for autonomy and her willingness to explore relationships outside the bounds of convention. One of the most intriguing figures in Grace Kelly's list of lovers was Prince Ali Khan, a Pakistani diplomat of Iranian and Italian descent. He was the son of Aga Khan III and had been previously married to the legendary actress Rita Hayworth. Grace's involvement with Prince Ali Khan added a layer of glamour and intrigue to her romantic life. Their affair was characterized by its discreet and passionate nature, and it left an indelible mark on her personal history. An especially notable aspect of Grace's relationship with Prince Ali Khan was the exchange of gifts. He gifted her an emerald bracelet, symbolizing their connection and, in a sense, acknowledging her role in his life. The idea of a returning gift for her sexual favors adds a dimension of complexity to their liaison, shedding light on the dynamics of their relationship and the emotional nuances at play. Grace Kelly's liaisons during this period demonstrate her evolving sense of self and her determination to live life on her terms. These experiences helped her break free from the constraints of her strict upbringing and played a role in shaping the confident and independent woman she would become. Grace Kelly's Catholic faith, though deeply ingrained in her life, did not deter her from leading a promiscuous romantic life that defied conventional norms. Her complex relationship with her faith added yet another layer of intrigue to her already fascinating persona. One notable detail that showcases Grace's unique approach to her faith is her Sunday morning routine. She would emerge from her bed, wearing nothing but the cross dangling from her neck, and make her way to the church. After an hour of worship, she would return and resume her activities, including returning to bed. This juxtaposition of devout religious practices with a seemingly unconventional personal life highlighted her ability to navigate the delicate balance between the sacred and the profane. One of the most significant affairs in Grace Kelly's romantic history was with her co-star Gary Cooper, which blossomed on the set of her first major film, High Noon, 1952. Gary Cooper, who was married and 28 years her senior, played a pivotal role in her life during this time. He was grappling with his own issues, including deteriorating health and a divorce. While the nature of their connection may have initially been more akin to that of a fatherly advisor, someone who could mentor and guide her in mastering her acting skills, their relationship evolved in unexpected ways. Gary Cooper's description of Grace as a cold dish with a man until you got her pants down and then she would explode reveals the complexity of their romantic involvement. Their affair was marked by passion and intensity, despite the significant age difference and the constraints of his marital status. However, as the filming of High Noon concluded, so did their romantic entanglement. Interestingly, Affairs with older, married men became a recurring theme in Grace Kelly's love life. This pattern suggests that she may have been seeking father figures to compensate for her own father's aloofness and emotional distance, her insatiable craving for affection, and her profound sense of emptiness and loneliness seem to drive her toward these illicit relationships. For Grace Kelly, sex was more than a mere physical act. It became a way to momentarily alleviate her emotional anguish and fill the void in her life. 
Her struggles with loneliness and her relentless pursuit of love and affection provide a deeper understanding of the complex inner world of this iconic actress. The pristine image of Grace Kelly as the serene princess. Grace often conceals the more complex and passionate aspects of her personal life. In 1953, when Grace starred in the film Mogambo, alongside the legendary Ava Gardner and the 52-year-old Clark Gable, it was as if fate itself had scripted an affair between the young starlet and the Hollywood icon. Ava Gardner, no stranger to the ways of Hollywood and its leading men, reportedly cautioned Grace about Clark Gable, warning her that he had a penchant for conquest and that once he succeeded, he tended to move on. However, Grace had her reasons for being drawn to the project. She confessed that three things interested her about Mogambo, working with renowned director John Ford, sharing the screen with the charismatic Clark Gable, and the prospect of a fully paid trip to Africa. She even asserted that she would not have accepted the film if it had been scheduled to be shot in Arizona. Her pragmatic approach to the project revealed her willingness to pursue her desires and take risks. In reality, as the film production unfolded in the exotic African setting, Grace Kelly and Clark Gable became deeply entangled in a passionate affair. Supporting actor Donald Sinden, at one point, stumbled upon an intimate encounter between the two stars in Gable's tent, a moment that added a touch of scandal to their liaison. Although Gable would later casually deny any romantic involvement between them in Africa, Grace famously retorted that there was little else to do when you found yourself alone in a tent in Africa with the charismatic Clark Gable. Their affair extended beyond the African set. During the London shoot, Clark Gable arranged for a discreet room in an out-of-the-way hotel where they could continue their secret rendezvous. The intensity of their relationship lasted several months, fueling gossip and speculation in Hollywood circles. However, their affair came to an abrupt end when Grace's mother, who had her own reservations about the romance, intervened. She arrived on the scene, making it clear that she did not approve of her daughter's involvement with the King of Hollywood. This familial intervention signaled the conclusion of Grace Kelly and Clark Gable's passionate entanglement, leaving both of them with lasting memories of their secret romance. The year 1953 brought with it yet another intriguing chapter in Grace Kelly's romantic history, as she was in the midst of filming Alfred Hitchcock's Dial M for Murder. During this time, Grace became entangled in an affair with Ray Milland, a distinguished actor who had been married to Muriel Francis Weber for over two decades. The fact that he was married did little to deter the 23-year-old Grace from pursuing her desires. Ray Milland, though not unfamiliar with the allure of women other than his wife, found himself particularly susceptible to Grace's charms. Their passionate connection ignited, and they embarked on a romance that was far from discreet. Their affair quickly became common knowledge within Hollywood circles, with rumors circulating that Milland had even taken an apartment in Hollywood where Grace frequently spent her time. Their liaison was marked by a fervent intensity, and both seemed unapologetic about their relationship. The glamour of Hollywood was further enriched by the drama of their affair and it became a topic of conversation and gossip among industry insiders. However, the affair eventually came to an unexpected and pragmatic conclusion. Ray Millen's wife, Muriel Frances Weber, calmly reminded her husband of a critical detail that carried significant weight in their decision-making process. All of their assets and possessions were in her name. This revelation forced Millen to carefully reconsider the implications of his actions. In light of the financial stakes and perhaps other considerations, Ray Millen chose to remain married to his wife, a decision that would endure until his passing in 1986. The affair with Grace Kelly, as passionate and tumultuous as it had been, ultimately gave way to the practical realities of life and financial security. Grace Kelly's affair with Ray Milland had far reaching consequences, not just for her personal life, but also for her career. 
The 1950s marked a period in America when society was steeped in puritanical values, reminiscent of the Victorian era, and infidelity was viewed with disdain and moral judgment. The scandal surrounding her romantic liaisons threatened to tarnish her reputation and label her as a nymphomaniac and homewrecker, casting a shadow over her Hollywood image. The prevailing attitudes of the time were such that even iconic actresses like Ingrid Bergman faced public backlash when she left her husband for the Italian director Roberto Rossellini. In this atmosphere of moral scrutiny, Grace Kelly's affair with a married man further fueled speculation and condemnation. One poignant example of the impact of Grace's romantic entanglements on her reputation can be seen in a conversation between her and Mrs. Hathaway, the widow of Grace's first director, Henry Hathaway. During a discussion with her biographer, James Spada, Mrs. Hathaway expressed bitterness towards Grace, emphasizing that while Grace may have appeared as a saint with her white gloves, she was far from innocent. She revealed the illicit relationship between Grace and her best friend, Muriel Francis Weber's husband, Ray Milland, shedding light on the depth of the scandal. When asked about other affairs in Hollywood, Mrs. Hathaway's candid response, with everybody, underscored the pervasive nature of such affairs in the entertainment industry. One of the most notable rumored affairs occurred while Grace was filming The Country Girl in 1954, a role that would earn her an Oscar. It was during this time that she was said to have had a dalliance with her co-star Bing Crosby. Following the Oscar ceremony, where Grace's talent was rightfully recognized, Bing Crosby allegedly paid her a visit to her hotel room with romantic intentions. However, the unexpected twist in the story was the presence of Marlon Brando in her bed, who had won an Oscar earlier that night. This unexpected encounter adds a touch of Hollywood drama to Grace's romantic life, highlighting the complex dynamics of attraction and celebrity in the entertainment industry. Another rumored affair was with Cary Grant, her co-star in To Catch a Thief, 1955. This alleged romance is said to have spanned several years, perhaps even during the time when Grace was married to Prince Rainier of Monaco. The enduring nature of this relationship, if true, underscores the depth of their connection beyond the confines of their on-screen partnership. The secrecy surrounding their liaison adds an element of intrigue to their story. Grace Kelly's romantic history also includes a brief and discreet affair with David Niven. This affair, though short-lived, left a lasting impact on their relationship. Over time, they became close and lifelong friends. David Niven and his wife frequently visited the palace in Monaco once Grace became a princess, highlighting the enduring bonds forged during their earlier connection. Grace Kelly's romantic life was indeed a subject of fascination and curiosity as she navigated relationships with a variety of partners, both before and after becoming a princess. The candid observations of Za Ziza Gabor, known for her own string of marriages, shed light on Grace's romantic inclinations. According to Za Za Gabor, Grace had a reputation for going to bed with anyone she fancied at the time, and her love life seemed to be marked by a multitude of boyfriends in a short span, a stark contrast to Gabor's own experiences. This portrayal of Grace as a woman who pursued her desires without reservation adds another layer of complexity to her persona. In addition to the previously mentioned relationships, there were indeed more lovers in Grace's life. In 1955, she had a brief involvement with French star Jean-Pierre Aumont, further underscoring her capacity for forming romantic connections with individuals from various backgrounds and nationalities. Even as late as 1981, long after she had become Princess Grace of Monaco, Grace Kelly was reportedly seeing Austrian director Roger Dornhelm secretly, demonstrating that her pursuit of love did not wane with time. This discreet relationship in her later years adds an element of intrigue to her enduring quest for companionship. Before her transformation into a princess, 
Grace was engaged to the renowned fashion designer Oleg Cassini. Cassini, credited with crafting the signature look of Jackie Kennedy, was a prominent figure in the fashion world. However, their engagement faced opposition from Grace's parents, who disapproved of the relationship due to Cassini's Russian heritage and his previous divorces. This familial disapproval eventually led to the termination of their engagement. The rumors surrounding Grace Kelly's pregnancy during her engagement to Oleg Cassini added further complexity to this period in her life. While these rumors remain unsubstantiated, they underscore the challenges and controversies that often accompany her romantic liaisons. What do you think about Grace Kelly's promiscuous nature stemming from loneliness? Leave us your comments in the section below. We hope you have found this helpful video. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thank you for watching this and see you in the next videos. Goodbye.